group of El Paso politicians and lawyers, wealthy downtown businessmen, and local special interests are doing everything within their power to erase El Paso's history, legacy, and culture in Barrio Duranguito. A sports arena is their weapon of choice. This has nothing to do with bettering our city. It has more to do with money in their pockets. When you fight the will of the people, when you destroy our cultural and historical legacy for an arena that will surely fail, then you are anti-El Paso. There are thousands of Duranguito supporters that have signed petitions to save the barrio and stop the arena. Large gatherings of people from all corners of El Paso fighting for our neighbors, our history, our heritage and culture at City Hall, in the streets, on Facebook, and in the public square. A brave remnant of leaders in the city, county, and state government have fought for the preservation of what makes El Paso unique. Don't sit on the sidelines as city leaders threaten to continue taxing, taking, and trashing. Join us as we dare to take back what this small group of elites would steal from our city as they attempt to create a downtown in their image. It's a fight well worth fighting.
you mind telling me what your opinion is on what's going on here in Duranguito with the demolition that apparently has already started? I think it's a message trying to be sent to citizens of El Paso. We're going to do what we want no matter what. You know, it's, it's calculated move. Punching holes in five buildings, you know, just, just to punch the hole in each building. Mm -hmm. It showed no interest in demolishing the entire building. Just to send a message. So do you think maybe there's some uh, leadership behind this this move here, or do you think that's just kind of hard to tell at this point? It's hard to tell, but uh, somebody's behind this. Yeah. Somebody's pulling the strings somewhere. I, I couldn't tell you who. But... Last night they uh, they had a legal uh, they stopped it legally from right. anything happening, right? right? So when do you think this occurred? It occurred early this morning, but uh, the legal uh, was just ignored. The injunction was ignored. Ignored. And so you're kind of a veteran of this sort of thing, right? Because you were with the Lincoln Park. You are the Lincoln Park. Uh, Correct. Can you tell us a little bit about what you went through there and, and how that? It's almost identical. The same demolition company, JMR, was there uh, trying to just punch some holes, and start taking down uh, sections of the building, so that once the demolition starts, uh, they feel the people will just back off, and mm -hmm. that'll be the end of it. You can't you can't put back what's knocked down. Uh, we managed to stop them before uh, any damage was done to the building. Unfortunately here, we weren't able to uh, do that, but uh, it's not over. No, it's not sure over. isn't. Thank you, Hector. in a very, very vicious way. So my, my heart is heart, hurting right now. I'm devastated uh, by the, the way in which the law is being broken. I'm also um, very, very sad to see that the police persons are here and that they are acting to help the illegal actions of the city and the uh, so-called owners of this property. We don't know what the deal is yet. Uh, we, we have been deceived in, in a way that now the police is uh, helping the, the rich get richer and helping commit uh, very atrocious acts against the people. We are here in a very peaceful way. We don't want violence, right. uh, but 
And so the change that you are, are is that, what are the, the purpose, what are you hoping to accomplish with the change? Well, we are hoping, hoping to delay the action mm -hmm. of the police until we get another get confirmation from the court that it is our right to preserve us Duranquito as a historical place. So this, we want to debate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, your sacrifice. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. No more fountains